What's up? Welcome in guys. It's a shop day. So uh, today we're going to just uh, basically go through a few things I need to do in the shop. I need to uh, sharpen up. I got a few extra uh, sets of blades there in my grinder here uh, for the Honda, the 21 inch. Um, so I'm going to sharpen up those blades. I've got three sets of blades. I actually sharpened uh, one set and got that uh, put back on the mower. Uh, the other day when I went and did the uh, first cleanup of the 2020 season um, But I've got two other sets that I want to sharpen and just have on hand and have ready uh, For when we're good to go um, Or when we need to swap those blades out rather um, I actually picked up uh, an air filter uh, for the Honda as well when I was tuning that up getting it ready for the for the cleanup uh, I noticed that the air filter needed a new air filter So I grabbed one of those so we're gonna tune that up a little bit uh, do a little work on, on the Honda and then um, you know sharpen those blades and uh, we'll organize the shop a little bit more I've gotten some organizational uh, racks and things and some hangers to kind of hang some stuff up and uh, and kind of get the shop a little bit more organized too um, so we'll take you on that journey and kind of just uh, give you a little little hodgepodge of some things I got to do around the shop today so enjoy one of the things we actually need to do is uh, bring the gravely up this week so I made an appointment in the week to bring the Gravely up to my local Gravely dealer. Um, you know, like I had told you guys in the video, uh, if you watched the video when I when I first got the mower, a lot of the service stuff had been done. Um, the guy that I bought it from had it had it brought to his Gravely dealer, and uh, they did the fuel filter, the oil filter. Um, you know, changed the spark plug, put new spark plugs in, uh, leveled the deck, um, put new blades on. So they did a bunch of stuff at the shop. And uh, I want to make sure that the steering uh, in the belts are adjusted properly. So it seems like it's a little uh, wonky or uh, not as responsive as I think it should be uh, when engaging and disengaging the, the belts to kind of turn and do different things. Um, so I want to make sure that that's all set. So I'm going to actually uh, bring it up there on Thursday, I think, and they'll kind of give it the once over and uh, get all the steering and the levers and everything tuned up on it, which will be good. Uh, as we as we get going into the mowing season here um, And then the other thing I'm gonna have them do is I'm just gonna have them triple check that deck just to make sure it is leveled um, And kind of grease that all and get that all running smoothly uh, as far as adjusting it up and down because I do have a little uh, Issue getting it onto the trailer. It tends to if the decks too low. It actually gets hung up on the, um, on the lip of the trailer. We're gonna adjust that uh, as well uh, and just make sure uh, that the deck actually is is functioning properly as far as lifting and lowering that so that I can easily do that, raise it up to its highest level if I need to get it up onto the trailer. Uh, it may just be, um, you know, uh, something I need to get used to uh, using the new trailer. So we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, so we'll bring... extent of my grinding guys for the day hey, like you saw I, I cleaned up those two sets of blades that are backups uh, just wanted to give you a quick little look at the uh, grinder this is uh, an old Sears Craftsman half horsepower uh, industrial rated bench grinder uh, it's just mounted on a pedestal um, I know there's there's a lot nicer and slicker setups to uh, sharpening you know mower blades uh, that get have the exact angle built in and, and maybe I can Try and figure out a, a little uh, mount here to, to with a piece of metal or something to mount 
uh, mount there or clamp there rather that so it'll allow my blades to slide in at just the right angle. Um, as it is, I've gotten pretty good at, at uh, grinding those and, and on the angle. Uh, it just takes, you know, a, a pass or two to, to, to kind of get the angle and set it. Um, and then once you get that, you're pretty much good to go. And uh, the blades will, will last a long time if you, if you just rotate them, keep them sharp. I mean, I think some of these blades uh, I've had for, for 10 years on that little Honda mower, which is, has been a great mower. Um, I'll do a, a little... Uh, or give a little preview of that here when I when I work on that and change the oil filter or the air filter here uh, pretty soon. I'll, I'll give you the details of that that little uh, Honda setup. But that's just a, a, a typical residential grade uh, 21 inch mower. Nothing special, but it uh, it's lasted. God, uh, my parents own that, so that thing has been around for I want to say almost 20 years. All right, guys, this is the uh, this is the Honda. Uh, quadra cut system uh, Harmony 2 HRR 216. So this is just a residential grade uh, Little 21 inch mower. It's been awesome over the years. I've actually gotten a ton of ton of use out of this uh, My parents actually owned it and when I bought my last house they um, they gave me this mower and um, It's it's performed flawlessly for for years and years and years So I used it for about eight years at the at the the first house there the old house and uh, And used it again last season here at the new house uh, at the end of the season when we just uh, got the got the lawn up and running um, You can see you know the tires are pretty worn the rear tires on this are, are actually slicks like racing slicks um, I'm, I'm in a, I'm gonna put together a list of parts um, to kind of get this tuned up because I am going to be using it now on more of a commercial uh, level um, as we kind of get get up and running with uh, vivid lawn and landscape um, I actually tuned this up the other day changed the oil sharpened the blades uh, adjusted the um, the pull start here that was a little sluggish um, it starts on the first pull it's just an absolutely amazing uh, mower uh, Hondas in general just seem to go and go and go. The engines on these are, are flawless as long as you take care of them. Uh, and this one's been, been no exception. So one thing I did notice when I, when I cleaned this the other day or when I went to attempt to clean it was this air filter. Look at that. This thing is absolutely disgusting. And it actually just started to kind of disintegrate and fall apart when I started to, uh, to clean it. Uh, or attempt to clean it. So what I did was ended up just picked up a brand new uh, air filter from uh, my local uh, Aubuchons and uh, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit uh, And put the new air filter in for now and uh, Get get it back up and running uh, And then I think the next thing I'm going to do is maybe give it a, a nice wash shine it up a little bit and um, and then again go through it put together a list of parts I think we'll Here's just a quick look at the the tires. You can see those rear tires are like racing slicks compared to the front that actually still has a little bit of tread. But uh, either way, I think we'll go ahead and get new tires for these. Uh, one thing that I actually couldn't do that I'm going to look into a little bit more is uh, this rear um, adjustment lever is seems to be stuck, and it's stuck on both sides. The front adjustment lever is not an issue. I can adjust the front up and down to whatever setting I want. Um, but these rear uh, adjustments seem to be um, gummed up or clogged up. I did use some WD-40 and tried to uh, get in there and spray those and, and loosen them up. Um, but it, it still wouldn't function. So that's it, guys. This is, again, this is the Honda Quadra Cut system. Uh, it's got the dual blades and nice mulching. Uh, mower and as you can see there it's the Harmony 2 HRR 216. Alright guys, so you saw me loading up the, the uh, Gravely this morning. We headed up to TK's Power Equipment up in Saco. I dropped that off. They're going to take a look at it, go through the steering and uh, everything um, that's associated with, with the belts uh, and the levers and everything and just make sure that we're all good to go 
Um, I had some issues or I felt like I was having some issues with um, the uh, kind of the sensitivity and the and the responsiveness of the turning and the um, and the levers so they're gonna go through all that take a look at it and make sure we're good to go uh, and then uh, yeah we'll be ready to hammer for the 2020 season so um, I'm gonna wait for that to come back in the meantime I'm heading up to uh, Rochester or uh, not Rochester I'm heading up to Kenny Bunk right now uh, in the meantime, I'm headed up to Kenny Bunk to uh, finish up uh, a, uh, a cleanup so I get that invoice sent out. And I've got a few other properties I got to pop by today and take a look at and get some, uh, some estimates sent out to those folks. So we're off and running, guys. And uh, yeah, so that was it. This is the uh, trip up to Saco to drop off the mower. Uh, hopefully, we'll get that back soon and, uh, and we'll get some more of these cleanups going. And uh, then. We'll be ready to uh, to hammer out some lawns and get mowing here as soon as May rolls around. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Stay tuned. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, please uh, thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button and stop back in. We've got uh, some good traffic on some of our older videos. So hopefully we can continue to get some content up and get some more people interested. So all right, guys, that's it. Take care. And we'll see you